Skybird. This is Dropkick with a red dash alpha message in two parts. Break, break. What's going on, YouTube? So uh, this is going to be my first video um, in a long series of videos dealing with uh, all sorts of fun little gadgets and, and projects and stuff like that. So um, my first video was going to be a laser spirograph, but uh, it seems I'm short one motor to uh, run the first surface mirror on. I want two in each one. I'm making one for my daughter and one for my son. So I need this DVD-ROM. Uh, it's a burner, an 8X burner from 2005. And uh, I'm going to take the motor out of it and use that. So at the same time, I guess I can cover some of the bases of taking a laser diode and uh, extracting the red laser and such. So I'll kind of kill two birds with one stone on this one. So first remove all your screws. So this thermal coupling padding, it's always good to save. So any little pieces we find here, I just toss in there. Okay, only seems to be one. So unplug all the cable connectors, wires, don't need them. Now, if you make a spire graph and you're going to glue mirrors, I advise you keep this little pulley on here. It makes a nice little contact to uh, epoxy onto the back of the mirror. So, get your two little contacts, your motor, so that's done. That's the piece I needed. <coughs> okay, so let's get into the sled. That's where your laser diodes are. You have one for the CD, which is a near-infrared diode, uh, 780 uh, nanometer. And then you have the... Uh, in this case, a DVD burner. It's only an 8x, so it's probably maybe 150 milliwatt. It's a lower power red diode. Um, you have two diodes on here. That one being for the DVD writing, and that's the one we're going to focus on because we're going to use that to make whatever out of. So I'm just going to break this loose. It's been a while since I've done this. Bear with me as I poke around. new webcam I'm using. I'm not too happy with the focus. You can take nice close-up shots, but when I need it, it never focuses. So you have one diode here and one over here. Okay, so we've got our sled and uh, we got our two diodes. Let's start popping this apart. So the upper part of the optical train this little lens here can come in handy. This is the, the lens when you open a, a PlayStation or any type of CD player, which aren't, I guess, too common anymore. Um, you see that little lens? That little lens, and there's another little lens inside, which I'll show you in a sec. Let's break this loose. This is all glued. All the sleds are like this. They don't, uh, they don't mount them in, aside from a couple of spots on the rail, and then... Uh, they epoxy it in. Okay. 
Now here you got a little polarizer, this little square piece of glass. I don't know how well this is going to show up. Again, this camera likes to act up. Hang on. Get a little bit of it. And it's a square piece and then another circular lens underneath. That little circle lens and this little circle lens you can use together to uh, collimate a laser beam. You don't have to actually buy a mount. You can make your own little setup. Hard to see the focus. Well, my computer is telling me frames being dropped. Hmm. No. Well, you'll get the idea when you open yours. And we've got some thermal adhesive in here. We're going to need a needle nose for this. Now you got to start being careful because you don't want to break the pins off the back of the diodes. Probably be a good idea to clip the ribbon, the little connector cable off the back so you don't stress it. You don't want to break those pins loose. This piece should be, each diode should be set in with epoxy. Yeah, there we go. There's diode number one. And let's get number two out of there. All this glue in the way. I can't see what I'm doing. All right, we just need something to get some leverage on here. Okay, so here's the diode and my gross cuticles. <laughs> this is the red DVD uh, diode. Let's see if we can get a slightly better view of this. Now the focus is working just a bit better. And there goes my screen. I can't see what I'm doing. You see a slightly bluish color on that glass? That is the coating for red. Okay, and if we get the other diode, this is more of a uh, metallic-y blue. I don't know what kind of color this is, but this is an AR coating for a uh, near-infrared. So there's a slight difference in uh, coatings. The darker bluish color, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. There you go. You can kind of get the, t the, the color of it, though. So that's the that's the 780 nanometer. You can use that for neat little experiments or um, what do you call it? Night vision lighting, stuff like that. Okay, so this is the back of the diode. Um, you can see the uh, pins come out into this little strap that goes on the back there. Um, to get this off, you need to use a big blob of solder. And if you look beside the diode, on the gray casing, it's a little mount. Let me see here. You see this large flat spot. This little hole, where is it? I'm not used to working with cameras, so I don't know if you can tell. Right around there. <laughs> I'm holding this up in the air at the same time. I might be able to wedge a screwdriver in there. Um, most, most mounts, you can just break it in half with a pair of cutters. Just put a cutter, a set of cutters on each side and just pry outwards and this little piece of metal, some sort of mold weak light, uh, metal, just uh, breaks open and your diode pops out. So we're going to try it with digging around this little side piece here. But uh, first, I'm going to take the solder off and the, uh, the connector because uh, desoldering a diode takes a little extra heat, a little extra time with the heat on it, and you want it mounted into some sort of uh, heat sink to draw some of that off. So you crank up your solder iron just a little bit. You want it nice and hot because you want this to go fast. And then you get a little pair of tweezers. 
my solder. I'm going to put a nice healthy blob of solder on the tip of this. The more solder, the better, because it melts everything nice and fast and even. You make sure your tweezers got a nice bite on there. Drop your solder on, wiggle around, and lift. And your little piece comes off. And you're left with a diode with your pins exposed. Let me see if I can get this in frame. There you go. You see those slots on the side? I can get a screwdriver in there and pry the diode out. You gotta be careful prying because you don't want to bust a little window. You don't want to cause any additional damage or any damage at all. Not additional. There shouldn't be any damage. So we're just gonna wiggle in from the side here, give it a little lift, and look at that. I wish I wish they were all like that. And there is your red laser diode. So this this little guy, have a look at it. I'm say I'd say by the raised center of the back. This is probably the uh, 150, maybe 200 milliwatt if you push it. You don't want to push it too hard. The uh, pin out is usually pretty straightforward on these. They have three pins. You have your three pins facing towards you in the shape of a D. So you have the top pin, the pin to the side, and then the lower pin. So it's kind of a D shape, right? Um, with the red diodes, the case is usually, uh, I believe, positive, and the top pin is the uh, negative. I could be wrong. Uh, the quick Google search. I'll, I'll figure it out after uh, when I fire this one up. But a Google search will give you the uh, pinouts for almost every diode out there. Reds are pretty much always the same. The only difference you'll see is in certain reds, um, I think it was the ones I've gotten out of Pico projectors, they have uh, just two pins, no body pin or no, uh, no ground pin. And uh, they're both isolated contacts whereas this one should be a uh, a negative ground sorry not a positive ground this is a negative ground so positive should be the top terminal out of those three so that's how uh, we extract the red laser diode from a dvd burner um any questions drop them down in the comments and uh, i'll be making another video on hooking this up and uh, getting it behind a lens and making a nice beam out of it uh, please subscribe and uh rate as usual and uh, leave a comment. Absolutely. Take care, guys.